Ladies and gentlemen, we are in the midst of a superhero, a bona fide superhero who is out to save the world and save you money. Let me just say by day, he's a mild-mannered engineering professor at Arizona State. He's an, he's an inventive genius, is the author of many, many books. But Joe Hui, you are Solar Man, and you stand for truth justice and the solar way. Correct. So I'm Solar Man and I really want to fight for you so that you can kiss your energy bill goodbye. And I also want to provide the world with solar power and also supplement it with natural gas. And we joke around, but you really truly are out to save the world. In fact, we're going to find out in a moment about the humanitarian and philanthropic efforts that you have to literally put in place around the world. Mm -hmm. But first, you have created this turbine. You are an inventive genius. Yes. I wish I could come up with half of the things that you have actually done. Thank you. But tell us about this turbine and tell us about how it works with your Tesla. Well, I bought the electric car, the Tesla Roadster. I really like it. I mean, people just <laughs> give me signs all over the road, stop me, policemen stop me. And I told them the thing on the top collect solar energy so that it would be used to charge my car batteries. But it takes 40 hours to charge the car oh. on sunny day, right? And there's no 40 hours in a day. So it doesn't work very well. So I ended up saying, hey, how can I really go take it on the road, drive to California and have enough energy? So I invented this heat engine, my turbine, that allowed me to uh, generate electricity using concentrated solar power or using natural gas. And I can go for a very long distance. I can go for a hundred, more than 100 miles on one gallon of uh, natural gas. Wow. And I can also uh, go more than 1,000 miles just on a few gallons of uh, propane. That's amazing. That's so much more than you know, we can do in a regular gas-powered car. Right. What prompted you to invent this? Well, I am always fascinated with engines. It's powerful, it's sexy, right? So I invented that and I want to build the best turbine ever there is in history. Now, 2000 years ago, the first steam turbine was invented by Hero of Alexandria, but it's so poor. And later on, you have James Watt who invented steam engine. It's so big, it's not sexy, okay? <laughs> and so, it, wouldn't, it wouldn't fit in a Tesla either. No, so. it wouldn't, and it would just, give her a lot of smokes and heat and so on and sound too, right? So I thought, you know, I want to use a really powerful turbine, but the important thing is that the turbine has to be small. It fits in the Tesla. The Tesla is very, very small. So I invented that and I made it very efficient. It's 50% efficient. You do so much, not just as Solar Man inventing this crazy, wonderful, uh, incredible engine, but you know what? You, the work that you do trying to help us keep our lights and power on, right. specifically when the Superstorm Sandy caused so much destruction uh, and so many people were without power. And you think, okay, well, it's okay, but it's not such a big deal. But we have right. elderly people, yes. people with infants yeah. uh, who have gone without... You're saying that you have a way that we could be prepared mm -hmm. if you know the next storm could come up anytime soon. Right. So when you have Superstorm Sandy, you need superhero Solar Man. So I appear on the scene and I can give you a turbine. You have natural gas at home, which you use it to heat, and it's more stable than the electric grid. It's on even during Superstorm Sandy. So why not use it? to power my turbine, and my turbine can not only give you electricity, also give you hot water, and also it can give you air conditioning. So you're safe in a storm. That's fantastic. Wouldn't it be wonderful you know, if we would have had this? And you also want to take this philanthropic effort around the world. Tell us what's going on in Africa and what's really on your heart to do there. Well, I was talking to the Under Secretary of Energy from the United Nations. I was telling me that we took the oil uh, from African coast and ship it to Europe and burn it, and we go around to tell Africa you should go solar power. Well, that's really unfair. Now, when you ship off the gas, they couldn't collect the propane uh, and then bottle it to help the African people to have light and heat. 
So I think it's very important for us to understand that Africa is a very big continent and it's going to grow to 2 billion people. And these people don't have power. They're going to cause a lot of uh, pain and also uh, you know, refugees going all over the world. So what we need to do is really to supply them with a turbine, right? Give them not only electricity, heat and refrigeration. Now, a lot of people die in Africa because they don't have hot water or they don't have refrigeration for the food. So I think it's important that we let frog the current situation that you need to build a huge power generation and transport infrastructure. For Africa, you can't do that. All you need is my turbine to give them energy, heat and air conditioning where and whenever possible. Well, Solar Man, thank you for stopping by today and sharing your super ideas with us. Yes. Uh, and Su Solar Man is on social media, so if you want to connect with Solar Man, then you can visit his Facebook page. Or go to my Indiegogo page and you can see how my turbine works and also you can get a copy of my book. Now before we go, you have a very special cape on that we hope people can see. Right. The, the blue and the red and the yellow colors and you are wearing, tell us, right. the Arizona state flag. Correct. And this is an homage to your beautiful sunny state. Yes, that's correct. Excellent. Thank you so much. Joe Hui, Solar Man, thank, thank, you. You. thank you. All right.